The fair notice defense, how significant is it? Well, I would tell you that it's so significant that if RIP was successful, it could end the SEC's terror on crypto. What is the likelihood, in my opinion, that the court is going to strike down the fair notice defense? I think it's very unlikely. In fact, I would be shocked. Subsection A, look at that. Any sale or transaction of XRP by Ripple Labs or any of its subsidiaries shall be conducted only through an entity registered with FinCEN. Boy, it sure be nice if the SEC, instead of requiring these companies to file this code of ethics that the SEC actually engaged in a similar practice themselves, right? Otherwise, we wouldn't have Bill Hinman giving a speech that Ether's not a security while his law firm is paying him millions and millions of dollars while his law firm has clients and is on the board of the Ethereum Alliance. If Ripple is successful, and even if it's not Ripple, if XRP holders are allowed in this case vis-a-vis -a, -vis a party, or amicus, we're going to bring all of this to the court's attention as well. And we're going to ask that the court state there's no way XRP could be considered a security because it would violate principles of due process and fair notice. What's that say? It basically says SEC, you don't have jurisdiction, you're out of business. So that's why the SEC is taking this extraordinary step to go to the court and say, Ripple shouldn't even be allowed to argue this to the fact finder. Judge, you shouldn't even consider this, okay? Because um, it's game over.